All right, I got an email from a guy that I will put up. I think his name was Giovanni. I want to say that, but his question says, hey, I was wondering if you have any tips in coming up with sad chord progressions on the piano, similar to Frank Ocean's music, Drugs You Should Try Guitar, don't know what that is, and The Weeknd's Trilogy. Is there any progressions that are applicable and what keys would, uh, would I be able to use? Anything is helpful. So there are multiple factors in creating sad music and the chord progression is just one of them. Um, some of the things they do, they'll use reverb and delay like echo sounds, echoes of silence, echo sounds to create space. So it sounds a little bit more lonely, kind of sad um, tempo. Obviously, they're going to like you probably pick a slower tempo and then the emotion, the voice that'll that'll create like a, a sadder song, too. But uh, to, to to try to answer your question a little bit, because I think a lot of people think that there's just these certain chords that people use and then they just use them throughout all of music. It's really not that easy, but I'm going to try to answer it as best as possible. So the quick, surefire way to get sad music, and I think a lot of people know this already, is using minor chords. So to, to, to use a minor chord, the way, you, uh, the way you build a minor chord, just pick any note, pick any note you want. So I'm just going to start with C, and then you go up three half steps. So it's literally the next one, two, three. Keep that note. And then you go up another four half steps. One, two, three, four. That's a C minor chord. And you can do that with any note. And that it'll be that that uh, that note's minor chord. So A flat, go up a half or three half steps. One, two, three. And then again, one, two, three, four. A flat minor. So it's very simple. So you can start with minor chords, that'll help. And I saw in uh, House of Balloons or in Trilogy that the, the weekend did this would be uh, what you need. So that would be just G minor, E flat minor, and C minor. So that's just C minor, G minor, E flat minor, just broken between the two hands, and then C minor. So that would be one chord progression to kind of like, maybe you want to play to go off of and see if you can create off of that. Is what you want Is what you want Is what you want Is what you want I'm what you need, need, need I'm what you need, need, need Drug in your pain And just fight through the I'm just making up lyrics now that would be an example of using minor chords. But the thing is, you can use a lot of major chords too and still have a, a sad sound. So I would consider Starboy uh, not a sad song, but a, uh, yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's kind of a, it's definitely not a happy song. I would definitely call that a sad song. So in Starboy, it's literally, it starts on a minor chord. It starts on an A minor, but then it just works its way down to G major chord and to an F major chord. And then it goes back up to the G major chord. So that's two major chords along with one minor chord in a chord progression. So there's not really any like to rules to making sad sounds as far as chords go. And that's what I'm trying to really get across. So what I always do is I always, just always go back to use your ear. You have to play around. You have to find, find the chord yourself. So what I like to do is maybe you, you hum a melody that you think is sad already. So for an example, I'll just use the starboard chords, but what I would do is I, I kind of start bare bones. So I'll start with a melody, maybe if I think it's sad, like just a one note melody. Um. Just kind of making it up. Like that sounds pretty sad, I guess. <laughs> And then I might go find a bass line for it. And that sounds pretty good together. And it sounds pretty sad to me. Then I'll just add chords in there just to thicken it up, which is the starboard chords.
hopefully that answered your question. Um, if you have any more questions for me, uh, I don't mind making videos for you guys. So um, email me at progressmusic24 at gmail.com and I can answer your questions also. I will see you guys later.